All right, y'all, I'm going off the dome here. Just want to show off this jacket first, but this is what I learned in uh, 100 days posting on YouTube. I have been posting, so just want to show off the jacket. Check me out. I'm in New York right now. Got the mm, fly, fly jacket, fly jacket. Okay, this is what I learned from 100 days of posting on YouTube. So at this point in my YouTube career, I have 18,000 follow subscribers. Sorry, not, not followers, subscribers. Let me just set up this on my tripod. So I have 18,000, oh my gosh, 18,000 subscribers. And I have been uploading one video every single day, um, regardless of how I feel and, and what, what time it is or anything. I just post a video a day. Um, so biggest thing for, uh, biggest thing I have learned on YouTube is that you just need to show up, dude. So, um, I am somebody who came from TikTok to YouTube and I, um, don't really understand YouTube that well. I'm learning more and more, but consistency is a thing in every social media platform and it doesn't change for YouTube. Um, I noticed that in YouTube... Well, first of all, I post on YouTube every single day. I do that because one, it takes 10 minutes out of my day to film a video. I'm not that busy. I can squeeze in 10 minutes if I really, really want to. And I proved that last month when I was doing this thing for 30 days. Um, but second of all, um, it's hard to stand out on YouTube um, because it's really scary to start on YouTube because it feels like you need to have an editor and have a nice camera and you need to have good lighting and you need to have a camera crew and the vlog squad. It just feels like it's really, really hard to start YouTube. And I want to tell you that it's not and that I have been doing YouTube with my iPhone and that's it. Um, since then, I, I have bought a, a microphone that I invested in that I'm literally not even using because I just don't want to. I just don't want to. Um, and second of all, um, I have bought, oh, and then I bought this light thing. This is like a little LED light thing that I attached to my phone. It's like this big and it's just this light. It doesn't really help that much, but um, it's really not that hard, guys. Um, posting on YouTube should not be made to be as scary as everyone says it is. You don't need an editor. You don't need to have like royalty-free music. You don't need to have like cute little piano in the background. You don't need to have like a, mm, like, like you making faces while you're in the background. So today I was like, you don't need to do a boring ass vlog to start on YouTube. Ugh, like that is so, I just hate it. I just can't stand it. I would love to post vlogs if I had the capacity to film myself 24 seven every day, but I don't have that. I like to film when I'm inspired or when I get in that zone, like I am in today. Today, this is probably the eighth YouTube video I've made today, but like, I like being in that zone and pumping out a bunch of videos. That is what is fun to me. I do not want to spend an hour coming up with a video concept and a hook at the beginning and all this stuff. I am going about TikTok the same, I am going about YouTube the same way I went about TikTok. On TikTok, I always made sure when I was starting TikTok, this jacket is fabulous. Um, I always made sure on TikTok that my videos would never have to take a long time to make. I didn't want the barrier for of entry or like the minimum quality of my videos to be super high. Like I didn't want to film everything 4K back camera with lighting and using a microphone and have like the highest quality content because the highest quality content doesn't win, okay? The most entertaining content wins. And that also goes the same on here. Now YouTube, it's a little bit different because it's not as much like just kind of thrown into the wolves on TikTok where it's like, might blow up, might not. But like YouTube feels a lot more targeted. Like I make a video on like Pokemon cards and like that doesn't get a lot of views because not a lot of people are interested. But <clears throat> like a video about, you know, a crazy reaction of getting some Pokemon cards on TikTok would probably go viral because that's just the entertainment aspect of it. But on YouTube, it feels like people care more about what they're watching. People aren't willy nilly scrolling, they're they're selecting you. And that's something that I'm actually even realizing as I'm talking about that like, that has been interesting because on TikTok, it feels like I'm just making videos for, 
I'm making videos not really for anyone specifically. I'm just making the video that is, I'm making the video as entertaining as possible and then throwing it onto the internet. With YouTube, it feels like I want to play to niches and play to my strengths a little bit, although I'm saying that because I'm entering this little era where I'm like, okay, let's let's capitalize more on the modeling stuff that you're doing, Carrington. Let's talk more about that to g get some of that audience. But also, um, you know, I have a lot of videos where I just sit here and yap. Like this is just a yapping video. No one's gonna, I don't think anyone's gonna watch this about like, oh, I'm gonna learn so much insightful things about YouTube. This is just like me, Carrington. This is Carrington talking. I, that's how I went about my TikTok. So now on TikTok, I can just kind of like be myself and post that. But here, um, I have set it up from the beginning that I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna kind of yap. And that's what I like to do. Okay, what else have I learned? just showing up every day. I think I already said that, but like, just show up every day. I think I already talked about that, but like, guys, I'm not doing amazing on TikTok because my content is, I, I'm not doing amazing on YouTube, period, but, but I am not doing good on YouTube as in posting all the time and looking like I know what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just posting every day, just showing up gives me the confidence that I know what I'm doing. The fact that I'm sitting here making a YouTube video, I know I know that I'm not amazing at this. I know that I know that there are better quality videos out there. I know I'm not the most informative, but I know I'm doing me and I know that I'm showing up every day. So if I have showed up for 100 days, I must have some idea of what I'm doing because there's no way I could learn absolutely nothing. Even if it would, even if I don't even recognize that I've learned certain things, like scheduling content ahead. That's also something I learned from posting 100 days straight. Schedule content ahead. Um, that has been a huge help for me because there are days where I don't wanna film a YouTube video or I just can't, I'm really busy. You know what I mean? You can always fit in time for it, but sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you just don't want to, I mean. Um, for those days, I, I stockpile videos. You know, like today, like I said, this is my eighth video I've made today, dude. I'm just making videos all day. I feel inspired and I'm capitalizing on it. That's something. Capitalize on when you're feeling something, when you're feeling some sort of deep emotion that inspires you. Uh, I know this whole word inspire and creative and all that stuff may sound really ambiguous and scary to people because I've never considered myself inspired and creative, but think about it when you're talking about, when you're talking with your friend and you go on a rant about something, you're inspired to talk about that thing and that's how I'm really riding out my waves on YouTube um, is that when I get inspired about something, it could be, it could be something that makes me really sad. It could be something that I'm struggling with. It could be something that I'm happy about. I could just be making a video updating you guys on my life. I could just be setting up a camera and wanting to talk to myself. You know, I've also set up YouTube as to be something, as to be more than just creating videos, but it's also an outlet. So yeah, I'm producing content, but that out, but that is a, so producing content is a creative outlet for me, right? But that is laborious when you're trying to make it your job. It's like, I am still working to make content, but I've set it up as to making the work something that I want to do. So I can do something I want to do and have it be filmed and post it. So I don't really have to work. I can just do it and record. Um, and uh, I do that by one. First thing I did, these don't get any views, but I opened Pokemon cards because I know it inspires me to make videos. It's fun for me. It feels like I'm a little kid again. And I love Pokemon. I love the Pokemon community. And that's something I want to do. So I'm going to post every day. I know it's not going to blow up. You know, I know I'm not gonna make a million dollars. I, you know, I know that's not gonna go down, but I do know it's fun, and I know, and I, and I know I posted that day, and it's okay. And also, um, something that I've started on YouTube is talking to myself, and I won't be surprised if that turns into a thing when I keep doing it. Mark my words, I have been talking to myself on YouTube videos like this. Hey Carrington, I feel like I've had a pretty good day today. Really? Why do you say that, Carrington? That's awesome. I mean, I'm happy for you. Well, why, why do you think you've had a good day? I've just been so productive. It's the first day of the year, it's January 1st. I've made like eight YouTube videos. I'm wearing this expensive jacket. 
I'm, you know, I'm making all these videos, I feel productive, and I feel like today I've done the things I set out to do in my New Year's list so that I can have a good day. And I did it the first day and I feel good carrying that on. You see, I, I talk to myself, but usually it's not that positive. Usually it's like, hey, Carrington, I'm, I'm really stuck. It's like some depressing shit, but it's like, it's real. Um, something else I've learned. I have learned that being vulnerable on YouTube is so appreciated. And I never knew that a video where I'm just sitting here talking could be so watchable by anyone. I never knew that. Um, I never knew that at all, dude. I, uh, it feels weird that people online would accept you for you. It feels weird that people would ever see what you post and actually want to watch it. And, you know, I, I have followers on TikTok and stuff like that. And I have, and like, but you never really think, I think this probably goes for any influencer, you never really think that anyone actually cares. And the the number of views you get will tell you that, that will tell you how much people care, or that's what you put in your head. And, you know, when I make a video where I'm just sitting here talking and I'm, I might be going through it because I have videos where I'm going through it. Um, It's really comforting and brings me hope that anybody would care. And I learned that it's okay to slow down and talk like a normal person. I don't want to say that I'm unlearning stuff that I've learned from TikTok, but on TikTok, I've learned that I need to be very fast paced and like, keep attention and ride trends and all that stuff. On YouTube, I've found that I create more of a, or I guess that my account or channel is really more of like a community of people who get what's going on or like may have similar things going on in their life or who have similar problems or have similar interests. And it's more of like a community of people who like the same stuff I like. And, I I don't know, I'm, I'm learning that. Um, th this is gonna sound really stupid, but... Making this video right now, I am learning that I have been learning on, TikTok, on YouTube. Cause I have just been really focused on getting the product out there putting up a video every day, posting a video, posting a video, posting a video about whatever, that, you know, I realize that I have learned a lot of things. I've also learned how to be more comfortable in front of a camera. Um, I have also learned about uploading videos on YouTube. I didn't know that it takes a while to upload videos on YouTube, especially if they're long. Um, and I learned that people appreciate realness of my channel because I'm not, I don't know. I feel like my videos are, might, are able to be called maybe worse than, you know, Mr. Beast videos and stuff or like people who make these vlogs and hire editors for like, you know, 500 bucks a video, which is like no hate to that. I mean, you're doing your thing good for you and you're probably doing really well and that's amazing. I let that, me internally, how I used to process that was that was scary. It didn't sound like I'd ever do it. And it felt like I had to be what everyone else was on YouTube. But that's not how I, you know, um, that's not how I grew my audience on TikTok. TikTok, I just was myself for a while and it took a long time, but I was myself for a while and it finally paid off and then um, and the same should kind of apply to here because end of the day, it is entertaining. It's a different form of it, but I mean, you know, I just want to be real. And, um, 
yeah, I really don't want to, I mean, I, I really wish that I had some more stuff off the top of my head of what I learned, but. Oh, another thing I learned is to not look at the comments every time you post. That's what I learned. Not because a lot of the hate, not, but just because you get really caught up with how well your video does. You know, I really had to detach from like the views and things like that because the views feel pretty low. Um, and I actually appreciate a view on my YouTube because I mean, I appreciate all the views, but I, I really, I understand that if someone watched my video, they probably watched me talk for 20 minutes and I'm just like mesmerized by that. And that is more impactful than, you know, a 10 second, you know, jokey joke clip I make on TikTok, which I still like and I still do. And like, that's my shit too. Don't get me wrong. But like YouTube lets me tap into another side of myself. And I like that. I also learned that YouTube shorts, um, if you already make TikToks, upload those to YouTube shorts because that is amazing. It gets so much views to your account. Amazing. Um, I also learned that YouTube has a, an app called YouTube Studio for people who post on YouTube that gives you like updates and stuff about, that gives you like, lets you track your analytics and stuff. That's cool. No one told me that. What did no one else tell me about YouTube when I started? That it takes a while to be able, I was able to monetize. And oh, also no one told me until Jake Weber told me, shout out Jake Weber. Jake told me and he said, YouTube is kind of like a, a, a snowball where videos you post a year ago could still get views today. And I was like, hmm, really? And it made sense because I watch a lot of videos that are like a year old, old as fuck. And I'm like, oh my God, wait, I'm posting a video now. And me in my TikTok brain thinks, wow, it, you know, it got, you know, a hundred views today. Um, that's horrible. But then I'm like, wait, it's not about the view today. It's about making the video for forever. And yeah, I guess I have like a, a, a library of content like that. I mean, I wonder if someday down the, the road, somebody will watch all my videos straight and see how I progress over time. I feel sorry for that person, but uh, yeah, so that's what I learned, guys. Um, biggest thing I learned is that just showing up set has set me apart from the pack, I feel like. I feel like of TikTokers I've seen try and start YouTube, which is very few, um, so many people, it's like one video and then you fuck off. I've also done that. I have videos from like two years ago where I made like two videos and that was it. Um, I, you know, that's the 99% who do it once and they fail, but I just kept posting it. And the way that I kept posting was by making it really easy on myself and not doing more than what I knew I wanted to do. And I did that and I just stuck to it. And, um, just showed up and now I'm at 18.8k subscribers it's awesome and I don't know it's cool it's cool and I'm having fun with it and it's gonna be a big year for my YouTube because uh, I'm gonna get better at it and yeah but yeah guys that's it I love you guys that's what I learned be the person that you wish you had in your life and um, just show up start posting make it easy on yourself make it easy on yourself don't let anyone tell you what you have to post. You post whatever you want. It's your fucking channel.